Well, welcome to today's call where for our meat box is running way too cold. You can see the water just freezing up on the floor, the crunchiness of the ice. So all that ice is the store that's been picking and just kind of shoving to the side. So you can see my breath like a Mentos commercial. Mentos, the fresh maker. And it is fresh. So let's see what we can do to fix this. So I got two coils, five fans each, well, nine fans. There's one that's just out right now, so I'll have to look at that later. So it's a good size box, pretty medium, it's not too big, not too small. Decent size for this. But yeah, it's just running way too cold. They're complaining that the product's just freezing, and they try to store flowers here for Valentine's Day, and they all just froze up. And then you also have the safety issue for the employees because you know what's going to happen next. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck. My back. My neck and my back. Oh, I want 150000 But we can start out of court right now for 20 bucks. Man, get your... It's funny because it's true. <laughs> but you can see the ice right here in the drain pan. Yeah, I mean, definitely running way too cold. The heaters are working, but the water's just freezing before we even get to the drain. I don't know if you can see it. Might have to get some light in there. Just trying to get it so you can see the ice just covering that drain. That's better. That's some light right there. So you can see kind of just icing up a little bit and it's just kind of clogging there, which is overflowing. So I'm just going to take some uh, temp readings with my gun right here. Yeah, 27 degrees, 27, 27, door is closed, so that's just way too cold. Anything in the 32 degrees is just going to freeze up the water And 28 degrees. Yeah, that's pretty bad in here. Even though the Multitech meat cases do run at 27 degrees, they don't have sitting water, just like the meat box right here. But yeah, <laughs> they use that when the door won't open for the meat box. I can only imagine using the window. One day, little buddy. One day. So with the coils dishing out 27 degrees, I'm going to say the SST is 17. It's always a 10 degrees difference from the saturated suction temp and the discharge temp. So 17, I'm going to say 39 pounds. That's what is probably running at the rack on top of the sport valve. So let's go to the machine room and check it out. First, we gotta find out what system it is. It looks like it's Boy 7. And sure enough, yep, B7, Boy 7, B cooler. You can see the condition of the sport valve. Pretty old and rusted. When the EPR has a solenoid on it, it's a sport valve. When it has no solenoid, it's just an EPR. And then you got right there for the pressure readings. Make sure the solenoid's on. Yep, it's on and kicking. And the racks are 22. So I just gotta verify I'm already hooked up to it. Gotta get the reading. So like we thought, 39 pounds, that's what it is right now. So when you're gonna adjust the EPR, make sure that you make that loose so you can adjust it. And when you go clockwise, you're going to increase the pressure. So you're going to make it warmer. So that's what we want to do. And when you go counterclockwise, you will decrease the pressure, making it colder, making it closer to the suction uh, group. So we're going to give it a turn, make it a little bit warmer. It's a little bit hard too, or else I would have got more. Now it's just a waiting game, see how much it does. So pretty much all that back is going to the box, holding back pressure. So on top of it, it's the EVAP coil pressure. On the bottom, it's the suction header pressure. The meat box is usually tied into the plus 20 or plus 15 suction group. Right now, 44. I'm trying to get it at 46, 47, so I might do another adjustment. I'm trying to get it around that pressure. And just waiting now. Waiting. So I'm kind of impatient, and I weigh way more than I should have. 
But at least this gives me a great chance to mess with this down here. I think I've already talked about this before. So automatic, clockwise, and counterclockwise will open it up. As you can see right there. So the cylinder is not going to do anything. It's not going to defrost when it's manual mode. It's just wide open. But you always want to go automatic. That was just to kind of show you. There you go. Now it's holding back pressure again. Whenever you touch it, make sure it always back to automatic. And now to go counterclockwise, so I can show you the decrease of the pressure. So we're going to do it a full turn because we're way over. Dropping. Do it again. So I'm trying to get to 46, 47 like we said earlier. Maybe a small adjustment. So right there, 47 pounds. I'm good with that. Because if you do the math of it, it's going to be converted to 23 plus 10. That's going to give me a DA of 33 degrees. That's one degree over freezing. So I'm good with that. That's what I was looking for. Just so the water wouldn't freeze and sit there and kind of back up and go over to the floor. So I'm going to call it good with a 33 DA. So again, like always, make sure this is always back to auto. If you ever touched it, just make sure you want to go back to auto. You don't want to have one of your fellow technicians going back because it iced up and cursing your name because you left it on manual and it's all iced up. So make sure that's back to auto. Tighten up. Also tighten up this one so it won't vibrate loose and the adjustment will be off. Nice and tight. Righty tighty. Make sure this tighten it as well. Nothing loose. B7, let's check it out. So it looks like the water is now melting. And 33 degrees, right on the money. That's what we wanted. So now checking it, 32 degrees, blowing out. I'm good with that. Other coil as well. Same tap. So the water looks like, yeah, it is melting. You can see even the drain pan, uh, it's melting all the ice. It's just dripping over. We're just going to open up that drain. 33. Yeah, I'm liking it. There you go. In the drain pan, the water's all clear. No more ice. Just have to open up that uh, drain line. Oh, yeah, I can't see that much ice anymore. 32, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. So yeah, we're just gonna clean up that mess. Run it through a couple of defrost, clean up that ice ring, and that should be it. But that's the call. So if you like, leave subscribe, leave a like, hit the bell if you want to get notified, and thanks for watching.